guys I know it's been a while since I recorded any type of makeup video but I did record this one so if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep on watching but first I wanted to let you know about these sprays that I'm using in this video you guys I swear to you I'm an oily girl and for me it's really hard not to use milk of magnesia on my face before I go anywhere because to me that's the only thing that keeps me oil free throughout the day but I got two sprays right now from Scandinavia one is a makeup primer spray so you put it on before your makeup and when I tell you I put this on as it was drying on my face it felt tight like it does when I use my milk of magnesia and it's basically sucking up all the oils in my face before I even start doing my makeup so this stuff really does work I see this all over YouTube and I just always wanted to try it so I finally got my hands on it and I absolutely love it now I also have the Scandinavia makeup finishing spray which you'll see in the video I put this on after I apply my makeup and when I tell you I know my face I know when oils are about to seep through immediately I know when something is working and when it's not this stuff is hardcore like oh my god I cannot believe that this is so awesome but anyway I'll leave the links down below to where you can get this and also I'll try to leave you guys a coupon code so you can try it out for yourself basically it tells you it's specifically designed to resist the effects of excess moisture and this is called bridal but you know you can wear it anytime you don't have to be a bride to use this but you guys this keeps me oil free I used it yesterday throughout the day and I was out all night and I'll put that video up you know another video and you'll see like my little snapchat story if you're following me on snapchat you should be you should be because I'm having fun over there and you get to see more of me on snapchat so yeah if you guys want to see how I got this look just stay tuned Okay guys, so jumping right into the tutorial, I am starting off with my Scandinavia Primer Spray. And it says you're supposed to spray it in an X motion and a T4 motion. So while that is setting into my skin, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Primer. And then I'm going in again with another primer from LA Girls. And it's the LA Girls Pro Primer and it's in Nude. I'm just going to blend that out with a brush. So for my transition shade, I'm going in with this color right here from the BH Cosmetics Modern Matte 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just going to place that all over my entire lid. So going in with that same palette, I'm using this color right here. And I'm just going to place that into my crease. And I'm going to build it up to where I want it to be. So going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm using the color Triple Fudge just to deepen up my crease in my outer V a little. So now for the fun part, I'm going in with my Too Faced Glitter Glue and then I'm going to place a new glitter from LA Splash Cosmetics called Mai Tai. And if you guys want to see swatches of these glitters, just go ahead and follow me on Instagram and you'll be sure to see them there.
now going in with my I Love Matte Palette by Wet n Wild. I'm using that black color just to darken up my outer V a little. And then I'm gonna take a blending brush and just blend that into my crease just a little. So here I'm just using some tape just to get rid of all of that fallout from the glitter that's all over my face. So now I'm going in with this gel liner that I got from Sephora. This eyeliner is so black and I just absolutely love it. So I'm just using an angle brush with it and I'm just going to make pretty big wing. I'm starting out really big at the end and then I'm gonna go a little thinner as I get towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm not doing any lashes, so I'm going in with the CoverGirl, the Super Size of Mascara, and I absolutely love it. It really lifts my eyelashes and it makes them really dark. So for my inner tear duct and my eyebrow highlight, I'm using this color from MAC and it's called Amber Lights. So even though I use my Scandinavia Primer Spray, I still like to have a little extra coverage. So I'm going in with my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And yeah, I'm just putting that in my T-zone area. And for my foundation, I'm using my Milani 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. And I have mine in the shade Spiced Almond. So as a highlighter, I am using LA Girls Pro Concealer in the shade Almond. And I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyes, of course, the bridge of my nose and my forehead and also my chin area and also below my contour on my cheeks. And I'm just going to blend that out using a damp beauty sponge. And I will leave a link down below to where you can get these. They're really inexpensive. I had them for a really long time and they do the job. So to contour, I'm using LA Girls Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. And I'm just using that to contour my nose and the rest of my features. And then I'm going to blend it out with my Wet Beauty Blender again. And also, I'm going to set everything with my Sasha Buttercup Cosmetics Setting Powder. So now my waterline, I'm using Milani's Liquid Eyeliner in black, and I'm not taking it all the way to my inner corner. So now going back into the I Love Matte Palette, I'm using that brown to just smudge under my eye where I put the eyeliner. And then I'm also going back into the same palette using the black from that palette just to smudge out my waterline. 
And then I'm going back into mascara for my bottom lashes. Using my City Colors contour kit, I'm using it to set the contour and also to bronze my face. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been using this eyeshadow from the Chocolate Bar by Too Faced. It's called Champagne Truffle and I've just been using this as a highlight. It is amazing. I absolutely love the way it looks on my skin tone. Yeah, you guys, you have to try it. So just to set everything and make sure my makeup lasts all day, I'm using the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. I absolutely love this stuff. So for my lips, I'm going in with Max Night Moth, and then I'm going to go in with ColourPop's LAX. And if you guys like this look, don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.